Hello everybody, what's up? Captain Zerbo here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we'll probably not be talking much in this part, uh, just primarily for the fact that, uh, according to Nova, it's a lot. It's a long cutscene coming up, so... Uh, yeah, it's a big enough cutscene for more than one reason. <laughs> yeah, alright, so uh, I'm going to jump in, I believe, in a second. I believe we already had this text come up at the end of the last part, but we'll just leave it up long enough just in case. Uh, yeah. There you go. So we'll wait for the ceremony to begin. Yep. And I'm going to mute up as soon as the screen goes black. Yes, because it is voice acted. Oh, yeah. I'm still just in the text chat right now, so it should be okay for a moment. Alright, so basically the only uh, goal for today is to... Oh, it's going black. I used to get to the dungeon, but we'll get to that later because it's gone black. So, muting up. I... She begged leave to watch the proceedings. I saw no reason not to grant it. Should I choose to deviate from my prepared remarks, I ask that you trust in my judgment. Have I ever done otherwise? since our peoples met thus, children of Thordon, even by our reckoning. Vidofnir, daughter of Hresvelga, we give thanks for your visit, and bid you welcome to Falcon's Nest. Our sire bade us hearken unto the whispers of our hearts. They spoke to us of a paradise lost, of bonds of brotherhood, which they yearned to see restored. Ours too yearn for such a restoration, and they have guided us here this day, that they might yearn no longer. Brothers and sisters, ye who stand as witness, hearken to me. Since the days of Eld, when the bonds betwixt man and dragon were sundered by our hand, our peoples have known only war. Bloodshed without end. Losses beyond counting, and still we fought, and still we fought. Some wounds do not heal. The dead cannot be returned to us. But we the living can yet choose another course, here and now. 
We can lay down this burden, this hatred, this vengeance. Our forebears fought not so that we could die, but that we might live. So let us honor their sacrifice and spare our children this death sentence. Let us gift them a new legacy, life. Betwixt our peoples yawneth a divide deeper than the deepest abyss, wider than the widest sea. Generations will live and die ere this divide is bridged. Knowing this, doth thy heart yet yearn for peace, son of Thordon? Look now on the legacy we would leave to our children. A dream of peace, inscribed in stone for generations to come. Father and his beloved, as they were so long ago, happy and at peace, the dream they shared shall be ours once more. forsake kith and kin, and consort with the spawn of Thordon, then thou wouldst dare contemplate peace! Hearken unto me, all of you! The final chorus is nigh, and all will be held to account. All will bathe in the flames of retribution. Till the coming of that day, Look you on your sins and despair, for none shall escape my wrath. None shall escape my revenge! Seven hells.
Hawk. Hells, take that worm! While he lives, we'll never know peace. Aye, there'll be no end to this war till Nidhogg is dead and gone! So let's kill the bastard and be done with it! Death to Nidhogg! Death to Nidhogg! Death to Nidhogg! <laughs> Death to Nidhogg! 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 Okay, I'm not certain, but I think I'm in cutscenes without voice acting now. Okay. Because he's not... Alphanard isn't moving his lips uh, very much. Okay, that was an interesting cutscene anyway. Yep. Can... I'll have to let you know, yeah, shit's about to hit the fan really soon here. Yeah, he assumes as much, and to be honest, I kind of expected that to happen. Yep. At least something like that. If it wasn't the mm -hmm. Rebels, it was going to be the... It was going to be Nidhogg, so... Yep. <laughs> See, uh, uh, Estenin has a very Resident Evil vibe going for him right now. <laughs> Resident Evil. Alright, what Evil. we got? And um, actually can use that, but it's pretty crap compared to what I've got, so fuck it, we're going for the gold pieces. Yeah. Whatever pieces these yeah, are. Yeah, the only reason to get the armor coffers uh, is to. Excuse me. Just for glamour reasons at this point. Alright, so starting causes and costs. Yeah. And let's say we're probably just going to be playing up to. Um, <clears throat> up to the. Uh, to the place where we unlock the next dungeon. Uh. Yeah, it's either the quest in Ally for Ishgard or Winning Over the Worm. Yeah. Because Winning Over the I... Worm is the quest that unlocks the dungeon itself, so we might end up stopping just before that, if not on that one. I, I just want to get the dungeon unlocked a bit today, to be honest. Uh, uh, okay. The dungeon itself and uh, the trial after that, I'm not too fussed about doing tonight. It's good. Yeah. We don't even know how long it'll take us to get into. So. Right. It's uh, something we can focus on next session. Yeah. So the good thing about doing shorter sessions like this is I uh, don't have to worry too much about wasting time with shit like that, so. Actually, I do want to do one quick thing if there is a cellar or something around here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a fucking merchant around, surely. I just want to sell my uh, pieces. Okay, there's one over here. Uh, sell... Silver pieces. I 
don't think I have any more. No, I don't. Okay. Alright, so I gotta head to Camp Dragonhead. And currently sitting pretty at 831 gil. <clears throat> Might actually break a million before we uh, finish Heaven's Ward. Hmm. I did like the uh, the sigil that they made though for the uh, human dragon uh, coalition. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna go this though. In here, uh, do I ski, uh, speak to the gatekeep to get in? Yes. Okay, I assumed as much. Yeah, that's a voice acting cutscene, by the way. Okay, I'll uh, I'll mute up. Forgive me, that took longer than expected. You seem puzzled. Oh, these. I thought something warming might not go amiss. It was not all that long ago that we sat here, you and I, in our very own falling snows, as Lord Horsfong called it. I still struggle to believe he is gone. And Azel too. I had such hopes for her. Master Matoya asked me what it was all for. Why we fight. And why we die. Were I still commander of the Braves, I would doubtless have replied, for the future of Eorzea. But I'm not that man. Not anymore. I needed a new answer. One that I could live with. And when I saw Estinian at the ceremony, I knew at last what it was. I do not want to be a man who sacrifices his friends and family for a cause. I want to fight for Estinian, and I want to save him. When Nidhogg leads the Horde into battle, Ser Emmerich and his forces will do what they believe must be done. That is their choice to make. Yet even if Ser Emmerich is willing to forsake Estinian, I am not. We must fight for him, for he is our friend and ally. We may struggle, we may fail, but we must try. We will. I know we will. Okay, we're back in. Did my character actually just have some speaking dialogue there, by the way? Um... So I got to choose the option, then her lips move, so I was thinking maybe. Mm. Like, it's not, I mean differently than normal. I might actually have to check the audio for that uh, when I get to editing the videos. <coughs> okay, nearly throw up in my mouth a little bit there. 
I don't think it was actually speaking. I think it was just lip moving in a non-speaking uh, way. I wanted to at least say fucking one line of dialogue in the game. <laughs> Come on, they gave us the option of voice actors and actresses for a reason, surely. Other than grunts, I mean. Okay, I'm back outside, and I gotta head to the manor. Head back to foundation. Probably gonna be another cutscene or something coming up here. Ah, uh, what's it? Uh, what are you doing on your end at the moment, then? Um, I met the uh, Forgotten Knight, which is the bar in uh, Ishgard. Uh, fair enough. I'm not too far away from you guys, then, since I'm yeah. in Ish I'm in at the pillars myself. Gotta go into the manor.